gentlemen don't introduce the audience uh, to that. It was just one of those off nights. Maybe two of those. Because he had, had back-to-back uh, off nights. But he, he started for Red Bull tonight. Together with Harlem Bumia and Hinkle Bumia by Patrick Robinson and Travis Fabio. The body command of Newport Street the Giants. We got Roy Castillo, James Rapp, Julian Pratt, Kermit Mundo, and Mark Zingler. What say you about the starting units, Coach? Uh, some changes in the starting units as Cyrus Baggio starting tonight for Red Bull. Last time out, it was Larry Ponacher who started off. And on the other side, we have a change in the starting lineup for Pierre Fouth, and Noy Castillo is starting off for Coach Ryan Gregorio. Uh, it takes two to tangle. Probably, you know, that's how many goes Ryan Gregorio. The end gap can be unpredictable, so can I. So, uh, may I help with my support? Uh, Oh, yes. Yes. Standing by there from the New York Knicks, a very young player, an up-and-coming superstar in the NBA. It's about 610. Yes, the Philadelphia 76ers, also a very young player. Both of these guys from the University of Arizona. And of course, you might remember Andre because he was the star of the slam dunk contest last time out. Despite the fact he didn't win the contest, uh -huh. he did a dunk that probably nobody else wants to try. One more. Oh, no, no, no. That was a violation by Pure Foods. Our referees for this game, Roy Cruz, Roy Killigan, and Grachi Carrer. It's a point like that. Things are not the guy that, uh, guy that uh, we would like to see uh, explode for, for uh, Red Bull. He hasn't done that. And he's talking about Cyrus Magnus. He just took an assist to Rodi Tugade. Well, that was a well set up play coming out of the uh, beginning of this basketball game for Tugade, probably to get him off to a good start. A nice set up job for Tupi Court likewise. And Travis Maggio tapped that ball away from Kirby. They moved to Topics Robinson to look at the front court. Get a bus for Travis Maggio. Have to look at the inside. Nobody there. You get a chance. Take a look at who's guarding Topex Robinson. Well, five minutes. And he almost uh, showed up five fingers there. He didn't want to be more than a ring. And it is a 2 0 lead here. But that's a red ball. It's where they go. Boy, Castillo, they're making James Jeff down low to Kirby. Ray Mundo gets it back. Coming up, pump fakes, and the shot. Well, Kirby getting the offensive rebound and following it up with a two points. Let's see how this matchup shapes up here. As Mark Fingers out here guarding Kotex Robinson. Such a versatile player, he can guard a center or a point guard. The offensive foul on Lordy Kugade. All right, we have 10 minutes and 49 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. I'm the other four, I'm the having uh, score at two all. Lloyd Castillo, looking against Perfect Robinson. Third minute, you know, there's Lordy Kugade. The pass is going to stop, stolen by Enrico Villanova. And it goes to Travis Blackwell. Who likes it? And there is a trap from Jim Dupont. The ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch on Travis Baggio. Yeah, Travis Baggio moving 100 miles per hour. Lost the basketball. And you can bet that Coach Yangal wants his team to get off to a good start. What he does not want to see is for Pierre Foods to break away here at the beginning of the game. Which is what uh, Pierre Foods was able to do a couple of times in this series when they uh, swamped uh, uh, Red Bull at the onset. You heard the interview before the game. Coach Yangal is very confident that he can win a close game against Pierre Foods. Just wants to keep this game close. At uh, the uh, battle cry for Red Bull. As you look at Topex Robinson disrupting the play there. Pass by June Dupont, not to look at the Topex Robinson. And uh, Pierre Fuchs has 12 seconds to execute the play. Well, Lord Cody is actually the one guarding Kirby Ramundo, so I'm sure that's where Pierre Fuchs is going to go with their offense. 
Does a handoff to Jim DeCosta. Oh, a technical pass by Douglas through the field to Jim DeCosta. With no time on the shot clock, James Yup tried to put it back in. Yes, 14 points for the MVP, James Yup. All four of Pierre points coming off of offensive rebounds. And that's uh, another uh, area that we talked about, uh, Coach Norman. Uh, the rebounding story for uh, Pierre Pooch is that he's got a lot of offensive rebounds. And that's what I said to Greg Stillis. Really, to Bradley slashes through again. And to Bradley has only the four points of Red Bull. Uh, Lordy answering the questions very early here, whether he's hurt or not. And he's also got his hands still on the other side, defending against Kirby Nemunda. And Jim Dugard is going to be called for a three-second yeah, violation as he was unable to get around Kyle Rubidia. That's what I'm going to go back to the other side. Oh, good physical, physical defense there by Paulo Bagheer, forcing Julian to off his spot. Double up with Ayo at 4 all. Here is the first one. Time is by the one. What about that? He's going to be the the bottom of the Lord needs to go there. You never can get it to him. Cyrus Bagger gets Roy Castillo goes to sprint. And they're going to call it a foul on Roy Castillo. Roy Castillo. Roy Castillo. Roy Castillo. Is first. Proceed foul on the Junkie Dragons. Perfect Robinson. McLaren must not brought up out of the Red Bull. Foul of the year. Top of the key. The bottom of the Lord needs to go there. Up against James Young. To go there. Good fake. He lets it fly, no good. Take it in with the penalty rebound. Out of the right, Castillo. Castillo, he didn't take any more of a But he's going to be Mike Pickles, but Pickles, Robinson is again there to break up the play. Robinson. Out to Dukanova. Rico against Jim Report. Mahina. And the loose ball picked up by Roy Castillo in the backcourt. Castillo brings it up. Going to James Young against Tugada. And Rico Dukanova breaks up the play. Yes, Red Bull showing very quick hands here at the beginning of the game, deflecting a lot of passes. And going back to what you mentioned about the rebounding, it's so important for Red Bull to control their defensive boards. And that's how they can run, they can start to run. You know, Mark Davis is averaging over six offensive rebounds a game in this game. And it is a two-point lead by the Supreme Court's Chucky Giants. One-handed for Paolo Bugia. What a pivot in with the rebound. Here they go, James Young. James Young, the number 10, the perfect Robinson. Jim Newport versus Paolo Bugia. Mark Kendrick. And the third one in with the next point. Nice pass back to Mark Kendrick. No good. Rebound, Jim Newport. Red Bull over extending on defense, really opened it up for Doyle to get that three-point shot. Nice going back to that to the ball game. Lordy to Gardner. Rico Villanueva makes his feet inside. Now the game is now good though. The top. Out to Mark Pignes and Mark Castillo. There's the bounce pass to Jim Lebron off the break. There's his play by Pierre Prince. Jim Lebron out to the game. Thank you for living. To do it again tonight. And a big stop here by Pierre Foods leading by seven now. After only about five minutes of play. Lordy to Gardner to the top. And Jim Dupont will pick up that foul, his first. Rocky Brown, a pair of two, is stepping off guard against pick and roll. First. That time, Jim Dupont did get the Second foul. Team. Oh, so Coach Engel must be concerned here. He does not want to see his team get down early in this basketball game. On the other side, Chris Ryan's quite happy that, that really that last two minutes off, the last game has not affected him so far. Oh, what a shot there, what a try by Cyrus Bagger. It didn't go, but he did. Castillo. Now with two. A lot of times, your coach Ryan Ed, the way you lost the last game, you were winning almost the entire game in the last two minutes. You kind of lost it. You have to be concerned on how it affects the, the mental state of your players, but it looks like Pierre Foods is really ready to go here tonight. 
Uh, they've come out struggling here in the uh, first quarter, and Red Bull will have to try and match their intensity if they want to make a game of this, and if they want to keep their hopes alive to have extended this series to its finest on Sunday. And when I play on the first part of the entire two shots by Cyrus Bagger, trips the lead down to five at 11 6. James Yap. She looks up to the left hand by James Yap. And you have to have big hands to be able to pick a roll like that from the baseline. Now what a kind of silver being shown here by the MVP. Nice pass and play here by the Dubuque, however. Hugged in by, or intimidated by Mike Piglis. Of course, Mike Piglis has had a reputation of swatting balls away, especially in this series. So that probably gave the Paul Bouguer a second thought. And then sometimes you have to go straight up. That time Paul Bouguer should have gone straight up with the basketball instead of pump faking. There's the top. And it's one out by Jim Lutrec. That is a few for the Giants. He gets it to the front court. Jim Lutrec. He goes to the third of the They move to my dress line of the Lord of the Gardens. And the back of the third of the Another hari kita ada adalah nine points lang dan kita mahu itu sedikit berat juga. Plus, kita perlu kita sangat bijak, ada terus. Last point sedikit berat. Travis Bagel almost got right. And then the miss of James Jump to lead the lead. Back to the basket shot. Jim Nipot with the offensive board. Not on for the ball over here. Here comes Topex Robinson and now back on the right. Robinson inside. And the miss is good. Salah. And Robinson is right here. And the miss is right here. And the miss is right here. But Robinson is still far away to score. How about the little guy shooting over two big guys right there in the paint? Precisely. The difference between the seven and the ball is not the same. 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 And Coach Jay Gow has to be concerned with the points in the paint here, Bruce. The majority of their points are all coming right inside that paint area. So they just have to do a better job defensively. But he was James Robinson scoring on layups. And on top of Robinson <laughs> trying to score against Jim Lippert, Perbury Munda, and Mike Pinkles combined underneath the basket. That's a tenacity that you know the Red Bull Club is known for. The littlest man in the floor is the one penetrating the lane for Red Bull. Let's see what we got to do that time. And here comes Tobin Robinson pick up a foul to Mark Pingles, his first. And Robinson at the line. So I think we're not going to do that, huh? Stop looking for that hand to the lab under Tobin Robinson. He's down with you. To go to Red Bull, this is Mark Pingles. That's a team to the court. And he needs a foul from Pingles. What a two. By Kopak, and the lead is eight. Not as a field goal. My goodness, the Nuggets. Guys, hand off to Kevin and Ruth, a good play. Nice acrobatic move there by Kevin Ruth to finish that play. And another inside the paint point for the field goal team. Those handoffs uh, between the, the field goal players are killing the red goal. Field goal scoring. Five or six feet to the Giants. And another miss here by uh, Red Bull. Here comes Roger Yap, who's in the ball game for the first time. But he got to get Jay Raimundo. Raimundo to Mark Pingris. Get a basket, James Yap. Get the front, he's in the front of the face. He misses the shot. And the rebound. There's going to be a loose ball foul. Uh, is it on Pingris? Yes. That's number two on him. Well, we had Larry Punisher trying to box him out, so he tried to get to the offensive boards. I was really surprised James Yap did not dump that ball right back into Mark Pingris, who is being guarded by Larry Punisher. They move Tobin's Robinson open. And the rebound, taking him by Roger Yap. It was just too tempting for Tobin's Robinson. Roger Yap. Three minutes and 53 seconds remaining in the first quarter. They're pulling them out there. Now, that pure food support. Taking it side. Offline and out. Time is bad enough. He brings it out in for the chair. For the chair to lead three. Here's the little James Yap. Looks like he was clipped there on the arm. Instead, the ball goes the other way for pure food. Here comes Roger Yap. James. 
Kirby. Back to Gene Jeff the open shot. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, who can shoot over a guy? That time he was wide open. Pierre Presian, the last of the guys the PM, power to the people. That really hurts Red Bull. They had a layup on one end. They didn't make it. And Pierre Cruz comes back and hits a three-pointer. Here's a Luka Villanueva. Trying to go hard against Gene Lucard, and he draws another foul. To the consternation of Coach Ryan Gregorio. That's going to be number two. And Rico Villanueva has given two cavities on account of the second personal foul on Gene Lucard. Tell Coach Norman that the uh, majority of the people here in the Coliseum uh, are fans of the uh, Blues as well uh, the championship for tonight. Well, actually, that's been the case throughout this series. A lot of Pure Foods fans have come out to support their team. Of course, Rimble has their share of fans here, but the majority of the Coliseum seems to be for the Chunky Giants. And Madonna and Luka do have a big first. And a catch the lead of Pierre Fritz at 11 and 22 11, 305 to go in the first quarter. And therefore they're going to be in a 1 2, 1 1, 3 quarter trap. And they're going to have to try to find a way to shut down that lane area. Keep Pierre Fritz out of the middle. Now here comes Ron Giuliani. Takes it inside. Ooh, nowhere to go. Well, that might be the answer. Nick Tennessee, yeah. who stepped up against the lead. Over 12,000 people inside the Adam Nathan Coliseum at the moment. At the moment, huh? At the <laughs> moment. <laughs> They're still coming in. And he can be the level this is. Very good for the Butters rebound. Pierpoo's on time by 11. First quarter for Lama. On the other side, Red Bull really bleeding for their points inside the paint area. Pierpoo uh, is really ganging up on defense. But it's obvious that the Red Bull also wants to score inside. But they've not had quite the kind of success that Pierpoo's has had. Although at that time, Mark Pierpoo's missed the shot. Shalita Cruz is now at the point that... Ooh! Yeah. That's James Rob's second shot block in the first quarter. Well, Salino Cruz had blown by James Schaap. He didn't know James Schaap was still trailing him on that play. And he got caught. Nick Caruso is going to best game sign this by Joe. Three-point field goal. Chunky Giants, two out of three. And therefore, has not attempted a three-point shot yet. Which is curious. Oh, there's one. Cyrus Bajor. Shut up. Very low shooting percentage for Red Bull in yeah. this first quarter. It's been held down to 11 points, and we only have a minute and 46 to go in this quarter. Third round jumper by Kirby is good. Two more points in the paint for Pierre Cruz. And now they're attacking this zone defense that Red Bull has put up. And Red Bull already has eight points in the game. Cyrus Bagley sees a small opening. Sinaliwa, Malakas! And Mark Fingers, Mother Salisa, and Richard Lee at the rebound. Here comes Roger Yap zigzagging to the front door. Oh, he, uh, I guess he zigzagged too much. A little bit too much. Ball <laughs> <laughs> went out of bounds. He zigged and he zagged and uh, he lost it on the zag. A minute and 20 to go. First quarter. At the Trece, ang uh, kalamangan nitong uh, Pure Foods Chunky Giants. Tumasok ka si Jim Puta ng Suara para sa the Red Bull at si Puta Jim Sinuata. Uh, blocks in the game, Chunky Giants with four so far. Red Bull with two. Traveling, Traveling on uh, Nick Canisi. So 65 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. And we were saying, as we keep saying every time these uh, two teams play, Red Bull cannot afford uh, to be left behind by uh, Pure Foods in the early going. They'd like to keep it close. But it's anything but close at the moment. You know, that all started because Nick Tennessee had to pick up Simone on the outside. And of course, uh, was it was too fast for Nick Tennessee. Sure. Nick Tennessee. And once he penetrated, everybody started helping on defense. And now Roger Yap is on the line for two. So that is for the seven to the one. And again, put a personal foul. Roger Yap. Makes the first. And if you're Red Bull, you just don't want to dig a hole for yourself here in the first half. You have to really use up so much energy to get back into the basketball game. Okay, yeah, but Sabu City. 
making it a 26 11 count. The Donato has not scored in over two minutes now. Out of the United for the job. Trying to kick it out to Nick Canizzi and the open shot for the Gigi Ayotarez. Richard Gui for the rebound for Pierce. Here's Roger Yap. He goes with Pedro Ramuda. Nothing going here, but as a red bull, they've uh, been scoreless in only two minutes, as we mentioned earlier. And they're closing the end on the uh, last few moments of the first quarter. Long three quarter. Ooh, Mick Canese, they surely needed that. He's on the PM press. But as a Peter Lacastatia, power to the people. That was a huge hit there by Mick Canese. And of course, red bull with fouls to give as GT does give up the first uh, foul. Yes, second team was only four point three seconds remaining here in the first period. So time for one last play here, Patterson Pier Foods. Roger Yap. Good foul there by Salino Cruz. Only foul number one. still can give the Cruz two more fouls. Two point two seconds left in the first quarter. Uh, the order of the day is uh, to prevent Pierre from scoring any more points with that much time to win. Roger Yap goes up. Wow. Wow. That's one big array there, Coach Norman. So Larry Parnashier was just a little bit too close on that play. You can see Roger Yap is going to jump forward and right into the defense of Larry Parnashier. Larry's gonna, there, pick, yeah. Yeah, Larry's gonna pick up the foul. Oh, and about a shot here by the Roger Yap. Uh, that's exactly what Red Bull did not want to see happen. Exactly. Roger Yap playing out of the University of San Jose and Recoletos in Shadu. Yes, he completes it. Wow. 16 point lead by Purfus. Oh, I'm shooting Red Bull. But more than the shooting, what would bother me if I'm Coach Yang Giao is that I've given up 30 points in the first quarter and Beerfoot is not running. I think the name of the game for Beerfoot in the series has been really controlled. They don't want to get into an all-out running game with Red Bull. And yet they gave up without uh, scoring in the game. Beerfoot scored 30 points. That's got to be the big uh, uh, problem in, in Coach Yang Giao's mind right now. How to hold off that, uh, that the scoring of Beerfoot is how to improve their defense. All right, thank you, Coach. Uh, Todd here, Selena Cruz, having some problems. Also, they see the Gene Simon to compound their roles. I think they're not going to know that uh, you can seem to have an easy time of it uh, initially in uh, layups, but then they also started to score from the outside. So what do you do? Well, Pierre Cruz did have three, three point shots in that first quarter as the ball goes out of bounds. It's still going to be with the Red Bull team. But in that first quarter, Ed, Pierre Cruz shot 52%, Red Bull 20%, and Pierre Cruz 20 rebounds, Red Bull only 8. So, wow. well, the energy problem may be showing its ugly head again for Red Bull if they're really not taking care of their defensive board. At this time, Roger Yap sticking too close to Junti Valenzuela. He will pick up, Roger Yap will pick up his first personal foul. As I want to do to put time on the beginning of the second quarter, at well, up until today, since we've been on TV, I'm looking at the score and look at this is what you were mentioning, Coach Norman. The 20% for Red Bull is Larry Pennesey. This is from the outside. Pennesey with the rebound and he scores. Red Crazy now starting to assert himself, coming off the bench, but as a Red Bull, at giving them a big lift. Here's a traffic defense again by Red Bull. Try to stymie the uh, offense of uh, the Pierfoot's Junkie Giants and try to delay their uh, entry to the front court. But I don't think it's going to be a good one. 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 Coach Roger, the referee, Bob Cruz. Selena Cruz. Once again, Pierfoot's finding it so easy to get into that lane area, though, as Richard Yee just took one hard dribble, and Salino Cruz had no other choice but to reach in on that play. It looked like Richard Yee was headed straight to the basket. That's right. Good luck, Buck. My pass. I'm going to buy three back. 
Lippert makes his move. Whoa! Oh, to the trap by Jim Lippert! And once again, Will Duke up the lead to 16 points. Will Duke. Duke is in his own side again. Oh! Shot clock! Five fingers! And to Mahanen, it's right to the up. To the to he goes up, he's blocked by Mike Rayback. To the first, gets it over to Duke of Venezuela. Venezuela gets two new points. To the up is good. That's your play by Duke. A great defense on both ends of the basketball court for both teams. Nine minutes and 56 seconds to go in the second quarter. Get a big lead here. Panas up here for the Giants. Hoping to end this one tonight. They failed to do that last Wednesday. And Redwood's looking to disappoint them again. This Friday. Roger up on the outside. Now you finish that has it. Did he get to Sunita Cruz? Sunita Cruz waiting for Mike Rayback. Did he get to Mick Cruz? He's open! Voila! And Jim Lupa gets the rebound. That is a beautiful cool. Roger Yatsin is saying it's a play number one. That is a chunky giant. Out of course, Serena Cruz. Come on, the bus to keep it doing Simon. Simon against Tari Konashev. Simon, very baseline. He's going to do the head out of it. Very good to run to the up. Yep, inside. Big red. What a play. Big red. Slay up. Big red. Big red. Ron Pinkers, the most improved player in 2006. Well, you can see the Red Bull defense just stop on that play as they actually lost their men when Simone drove to the baseline and. There was nobody there underneath the basket. And Mayhem broke loose on de the defense of Red Bull as Mike Pinkers uh, got that spectacular layup on. He came out and did it. You can see there, Larry Punisher and Nick Pennessey not knowing who to guard there. Mark Pinkers taking advantage of it. And, uh, Mark Pinkers has had a great year coming from the Air 21 team. Right. Has found a home here with the Chunky Giants. Uh, he looking like he's really at home. Duke to Venezuela reaches to the slot. Still can't buy the basket. Duke to once again, but I'm a shot. And Jim Lippert has the easy rebound. Red Bull's very tight. I'm shooting the basketball yeah. here in the game so far. I is the word. Mark Castillo looking at Kirby and Jim Lippert. Jim Lippert. And again, the leader Jim Simon. Simon goes up. Here's Juju Venezuela. Out of the red zone. Eight minutes and ten seconds remaining in the second quarter. Get out of the Juju Venezuela to be able to get out of the bus. Yes! Pia Cruz! Well, I said Pia Cruz, the team. Power to the people. That's confidence for you as Juju just shot an air ball on the previous play. Up to that and hits the three-pointer. And he got the lead turn left down to 13. And 34-21. There it is. Cross court to North Castillo. Open shot! Let's get the ball in there. It is it for the rebound. Out to Selena Cruz. Selena Cruz goes up against North Castillo. Cross court to Juju Venezuela. Two feet and a bunch of two feet. Now, I look. North Castillo, seven and a half minutes to go on the second quarter. Castillo should win the play. That is a two feet to check the Giants. Mark King is. Kirby gets it over to North Castillo. Open shot for Peter Jim Simon. And Tunisi has another rebound. Now you're going to see two people that are up ahead. And he is fouled. And one. Yes, yeah, I see the Jim Simon. That's the rebound there, Mick Tunisi. And now you're going with good recognition. That's great pass there by Larry. Yeah. Yeah. So what's this? Uh, the Jim Simon will get. Well, he has a chance for a three-point play, and yeah. Red Bull will retain the basketball because of that foul. And that is also taken out of uh, Red Bull. 7-11. And the field food leads in this tournament. And then again, the first time the goal is a game trap out of the people of Juice 1. You can feel Red Bull grinding away here, trying to get back into this basketball game before the halftime. Well, that's the way they did it uh, back in uh, game five. They did it silently but effectively. Larry Finisher by the team. Nick Finisher is open. No. And Larry Finisher trying to get the rebound back. Oh, off the game. And on the rebound play here. They found the Tatawag in there. Could be on Larry Finisher. 
That's right, Larry Punisher tries to box out on the plate. Actually went under Kirby Raimundo. He's going to pick up the foul. That's going to be number three on him. Number three. On Larry Punisher. Castillo with a double play para essa tempo do Benemundo. Briga com o Mark Pinger. Mas para Haas, Dari Benemundo para o Luba, briga com o Junto da Lanchora. É o segundo curso, o Pinger da Parada do Gato. Junto da Lanchora. The faster the better. Yeah, that's what you talked about, but that's a... Well, it's a quarter, actually. They pull up five in that category. Uh, uh, a little tentative on that move. Atong mga higara diyan sa kagayang de oro. Ayon gabi ni Nol. Labi na sa atong amigong World Performer World Junior Lightweight Champions. Wala na parin ito. Sa mga amigo diyan sa kagayang de oro. Sa atong amigunay diyan. Governor Oscar Moreno. Mike Pink is blocked by Tenisi. That's a foul on Kirby Amundo coming over the top. Yeah. Oh, he's in a box of one of them last night. Yeah. And Rico Vigodera is back. We're going to have a look in the round. He's inside. Mick Tenisi is open. And he chooses to attack. And the hit shot by Mick Tenisi. He now has seven points. He's over five rebounds. Smart play there by Big Tennessee. Really using the dribble to get a little bit closer to the basket for that jump hook. The Chunky Giants have not scored in the last three minutes. To the number one, and to my left, and Big Tennessee can catch it with a turnover, although he claims that he was somehow bumped there. And notice the defensive red ball now shutting down the middle. Nick Tennessee has had a lot to do with that with his size, and... Really taking away a lot of easy baskets that Pierre Bruce was getting in the first quarter. So he deserves to have a ball out of Tati. Shoot to it and shut him. Well, it's got to make sure he won't get about to make finishes. Finishes. Back to Jimmy. From the side. Salamas in the run. To do the first side to keep it alive. And the ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with Red Bull. He's had something to do with saving the basketball for his team. Getting inside for that offensive rebound. Umabot ko kanin kanina lamang ng 16. Gano'n na lang. Woo! Big shot block again by Mark Pitrus. And Paul Antani is fouled by Selena Cruz. Good what Mark Pitrus does when he blocks the shot. He does not really come down with his arm. Instead he just catches you up top. And a lot of times, most of his shot blocks are kept in bounds. So he's not really rolling them out of bounds. He's has a chance to recover his shot block. So to call the, uh, the Payong uh, shot block. Well, in time, Sabina Cruz also picks up his third personal foul. Mark Pinkus has it. Third to the Junta. They took over things with Junta Venezuela with the fancy pass. That's a big team, Mick Tenisi to Junta Venezuela. Venezuela to the front court. Venezuela gets it over to Mick Tenisi with a three-point shot. Not there. And the lose ball picked up by James Yap. James Yap into the front court. He gets the board on Tadi. And Tadi signals bring number one. Four and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. There's no question. Red Bull, they're definitely in a box and one, and they're boxing this guy with the basketball, James Yap. Oh, do what you want. But James Yap is still score. He's got 11 points now. Lead the crew. Not good enough to win. Lead the winner. Never to give to Venezuela. Venezuela going to win. Shot late. Great push. Without a two team, but as a player against the PM, power to the people. Red Bull. They really did. They've got that three-point shot here in this second quarter, and they would actually appear to be giving them. Yeah, they're really giving them. Well, you did mention that they needed to shoot better, but the three-point line. Yeah, they're really giving them. Well, you did mention that they needed to shoot better for the three-point line. Giving the shot block to Mike Pinkers, and the foul is going to be called on Lord Ichigaru. Speaking of the two from James in the first quarter. So the Cruz. Yes, Selena Cruz has three fouls in the game, so he's going to take a rest. He is the one guarding the window. Right. 
Let the swap it and help out. And on the swing over to the other side. Uh, and he would have led with all that body over. And Topic Robinson picks up his first goal for a while. He's just been in. He had just been in for a while. 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 Well, both teams now with four team fouls here in the second quarter. I think it's... I think it's a foul. Check. Finish it. The top X. It was a good team, but it's going to be a little bit of risk. Not there. Oh, the loose ball picked up by Enrique Mugurova. And there is a foul spotted by Reverie Blake Cruz. Lucky Blake here, that is a red bull. You're correct because they were two pure foods players right underneath the basket. Yes, and Eagle was able to get that basketball. Is third personal. Oh, the third personal on Mark Tinker, so he's going to have to take a seat probably also. Correction on the foul call by referees. The foul is on Richard Yee. Okay, they just made a correction. It is Richard Yee who is uh, called for the foul. His first. Nine points for the Looney Way. I think we're going to have one of those responsible for the big uh, comeback by Red Bull in game number five. Three minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the second quarter. And the lead has been cut down to only five. One skill at 16 here in the first half. I think it's down at the very beginning of the and Duke of Venezuela is not reaching it. Or was it? Yes, it was Duke. Okay, two shots for Kirby Raimundo. That's a penalty now on the Red Bull and the second personal foul. Duke of Venezuela is a Red Bull and the second personal foul. Duke of Venezuela is a Red Bull and the is going to be awarded uh, two shots. A game like this, a game six, as Kirby misses the first shot. It's so important that Kirby Raimundo takes advantage of his size against June T. I know June T is a tough defender. He only stands about 6'1", 6'2". Kirby is a 6'5", 6'6", player who likes to operate inside. So Kirby has to take advantage of that matchup. 65% free throw shooter. And Kirby Raimundo misses both. That's the three minutes remaining here in the second quarter. Big producer in the corner. We're going to get perfect Robinson. Robinson in and out of the pitch. The bounce pass to Enrique Bumineva. We remember Marcus Lama to Richard Yee. Hey, to do them see Mike Pingley. So the foul is going to be called. Let's see on whom. Looks like it's going to be on Pingley. Robert Pingley. That's going to be number three. Yeah. It's third. So it just took another minute or two, but he eventually picks up that third foul. Hey, Mark, come on, you have it up. Look at Luzon. Thank you, man. Thank you, Mr. Kapusan. Mr. Bovega. And uh, Dr. Corte. The point of view here, and Rico Vigonova. And you have to move now. A shot. There we go. And he gets that too. And uh, don't look now. And it's down to a three-point lead by Blue Boots after leading by as many as 16 points. James Yap. In this they jump to the outside and play to the middle with the offensive rebound. And the colleague James Young. To look up the left, they get to get Fingers goes up. You're locking in. Loose ball. Root to Venezuela. Not the tower. Not the bit. Finishing. Finishing pass. Now I go. Hey, I see that on the basket. Why do you have? That was not a good outlet by Mick Tennessee. Yeah. Great defense by Mick Tennessee as he's been able to shut down that middle. That was great defense against Mark Pingles that time. Today's just a move there by Mick Pinesi. And Topics Robinson actually slipped as he tried to get to the basketball. And that led uh, Roger Yep to almost steal that pass. Lisa Vigorella to the outside. Missed the shot. Take it in the door. Sam Pierre Foods running the gear play. Let's see what that is. This is Richard D. Tom of the Pee, back to Kobe de Mundo. And it's time to go on here, but he goes up anyway and scores! That was against three people, so yeah. big shot there by Kirby Ramundo, whose team has really been struggling here in the second quarter. 
For two shots, as James Jackson's first personal foul. I think over 12,000 by now. So you're at at least 13,000 in the power to go. We're going up to the uh, Raptors. This team makes the first shot. And Coach Hank Dow is really going to have to analyze what team he had on the floor that really played good defense. Because the team he has out here right now has really put up a lot of stops here in this quarter. Ultima Nazara, one of two. At the beginning of the Gita Pagod sa Dugo. Kaya sa Sutu. Dugo si Dugo. Kaya sa Dugo si Dugo. Kaya sa 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 Dugo. Shoot to Venezuela! Go! And the trap by Pedro de Mundo. Baggio's going to pick up the foul as maybe Red Bull is living and dying by this three-point shot. Yeah. A little bit too much in here in the second quarter. Unfortunately for them, they're down by only four now. And the game is far from over, so if you don't really have a good look, you might as well set up, try to get the ball inside to Enrico. I know the emotions of the game take over. Yeah. That's basic. Jun T was wide open on that play. He was. The Batala. 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 As you see some of the fans of Red Bull there, blazing yellow. Got to the yellow making shot. Trying to distract Richard E. They saw him as the trick. But Richard E. makes the uh, second free throw anyway. And uh, that's the lead of Pierpur's up to five again at 39-34. Time for one last play, 13 seconds left. Here in the second quarter. Due to Venezuela, trying to shake up the game's yacht. Venezuela. Back to Rick Finish, who's having a three-point three shot. There you go, another three-point attempt by Coach Devon. Side is back with Block and the well, Mark Pinkert has three fouls in this basketball game. That means that John Camacho is starting off here in the second half for a pure boost. And Jupiter Buck has another top of the game for the game. I can see here off the door. Another uh, Camacho, Don Camacho, turning around and picking up a foul. Oh, yeah. Lordy to grab it, that's going to be number three on Lordy. His third, first seed foul of the game. That's a nice, that's a real early score. But uh, many times, uh, they need to keep making a score in the first half, and he uh, uh, consistently picked uh, it up in the uh, second half. Another foul. Yeah, so Salino Cruz. That's right, we're number four on here. Well, Salino Cruz was out there trying to guard Kirby Ramundo, so that's a nice problem for him. Well, Don Camacho only played one minute in this series before this, yeah. this game. Probably the rabbit out of the hat here, Paragay Ryan Gregorio. 
as Brooklyn and Wendell scores on the fall away for his 12th point in the game. And he ups the lead up here for his again to 7 points at 41-34. Nice pass from Andy to Mick Penisi. That's very similar to how they started this basketball game, a side screen for Lordy Tagadi for two points. In fact, they so scored the first four points of Red Bull in the first quarter. Take it and and then uh, Jim the play gets away! And here comes Lordy Tagadi against Lordy Castillo. And a blocking foul is not even called on Castillo. Yeah, that'll be great. Red Bull deciding to double team Kirby Ramundo very far from the basket that time. Kirby was able to find two left foot underneath the hoop. So with that about our substitution in the third quarter, Toplix Robinson comes back in for Salina Cruz who just picked up his fourth personal foul. Side is Baggio with Angela Bola. Gonna get Toplix Robinson, Robinson, but he's gonna get Baggio. Baggio fires. Get up. And Jim Dupont takes up the loose ball. They put it to the front court. Of the Kirby Raimundo. Raimundo inside. Step back into Don Camacho. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Jim Dupont tries to find an opening. And Kirby Raimundo gets the offensive board. And the pit back with a foul. Is that on Enrico? Let's see. Yes, and Vito Vigarella gets his first personal foul. Oh, tough shot there by Jim Limper, but there was Kirby Ramundo. He was not boxed out on the play. You know, Pierre Cruz, they're really hoping for a big game from Kirby Ramundo, who has struggled a little bit in this series. But he has shown tonight that uh, he is just as determined as everyone else on the lineup. And he gets Pierre Cruz a double digit lead once again at 46 36. Silas Bagno. Down there to Nick Finisi. Then it must be Lordy to Gladi for the open three point shot. Uh -huh. Yes, PM Press for us. Peter Lagasta, PM. Power to the people. And if you know the Red Bull plays, that was great execution that time by the Red Bull team to get that wide open three point shot. And James Yap wants to get it back. And Rico Villanueva finds a rebound. Here comes Silas Bagno. Scooting it into the front row, into the paint. And yeah. off the glass, he will score with a foul. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned at the start of this coverage, uh, Coach Norman, that this young guy, Silas Bagno, who has been waiting to uh, explode the red, but so far he has not been a factor in the series. But you know that this guy can light it up. And if you're going to draw an offensive foul, you have to take it in your chest. You have to be squared up. That time, Don Camacho was turned sideways. Cyrus Bagley with four points in the game has a chance to make it five. And cut the lead even further, but he doesn't do that, so it stays at five points. With the Lamangan number of James Yap uh, running into the defense. Is that Nick Penisi? That's going to be number four if it's on this. Yes. Let's see how Coach Shangal reacts here with Mick Tennessee picking up his fourth foul and Pierre Bruce deciding to attack him immediately. Uh, Jim Lebron, oh, that may be number five. No, actually, that's a second. Oh, it's only a second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is the 15th foul for uh, Red Bull. Mick is second. Team foul number five for Red Bull. All right, then, that's a penalty to Paul. Uh, Red Bull from here on in. Uh, wow. Nine minutes and 30 seconds left. That's right. Very early, and James Yap yeah, scores on the reverse. The Matana Matanisa inbounds in on Red Bull. Hey, the scoop shot by Lordy Tugani is good. And you see that's happening. It's not going to hit up, but then it goes to Lordy Tugani. He's got a variety of shots, and he could take off on either foot. Well, Kirby Ramundo just picked up his second personal foul. That's another instance where the Red Bull players have been able to sidestep the defense of Pierre Cruz. And you can see as, as the game quickens, it's really to the advantage of Red Bull. Three point play opportunity here by the Red Bull. Oh, they missed a couple of uh, free throws early in the third quarter. Like Castillo. 
At the Cobra de Munda gets Paolo Muguia. Inside pass, looking up, not all looking for Cobra de Munda. But it must have been like Castillo. There's a tap by Cyrus Baggio. Top and Trump is in time to beat Castillo. Not one of Cobra de Munda. Ray Munda inside the paint. The layup is no good. Top and Trump is in high for that rebound. Top and Trump is in trying to bring it up. And he picks the ball out. But he shots. So, but that Don Tomas has been relieved in favor of uh, Mark Pingris. Yeah, Mark Pingris with three personal fouls. Back guarding Topex Robinson again. Yeah. <laughs> he's not guarding anybody, actually. He's just standing in the middle of the lane. But he's got it from way out, and Mark Pingris unable to control it. Topex Robinson comes out of nowhere. Robinson down with the foul of the Gia. With the basket, Cyrus Bagler. Bagler attacks. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Uh, Cyrus Bagler. Uh, James Rapp had to uh, evade the uh, driving shot. 22 seconds and none of the So I think third quarter. Well, Red Bull, they're still switching up their defense right now. They are in a 2-3 zone. They're really trying to confuse the playmakers for Pierre Booth. They're going to move to James Rapp. James Jap is going to win at the top of the key. Oh, Rico oh, Shot! Shotley, Shotley! Pierre Tres, Blessed Peter Lagos, and PM. Power to the people. Pierce Pierce is now up by six. And you always say that does not look like good shot selection, yeah. but James Jap can make those shots. That's why he has the freedom to take them. Lordy, you got it. Let's see who the foul is on. Dr. Yap is going to be called for that foul as Rodi to to hit the deck. Fourth team foul on the Turkey Giants. Shot clock at 13. Father Bugia. Victor Nacy against Jim Lippert. There's that fifth shot. At that time, and Mark Fingers comes down with the rebound. Then he gave on to Yap. Looking around, finds James Yap. And there, Cyrus Bagley is caught reaching in. That's going to send James Yap to the line. Oh, no. And the penalty is on Red Bull. So the problem is when you're in a 2-3 zone against a pair of fools and James Yap is on the floor, you better be able to find him. That time Red Bull just a little bit slow reacting. James Yap was able to put the ball on the floor. Uh, you know how James Yap is, he only needs a split second to, to be able to put that shot up. As you say, it doesn't look like a good shot. Well, it's almost similar to Mark Kagiwa. Some shots that Mark throws up also don't look like good shots, but good scorers have the freedom to take those shots because oh, yeah. they can make them. That's what makes him a great player. That's why he's the MVP. 7.36 to go out here in the third quarter. In the back round, you see a familiar face there. Right She's there. Smiling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Good shot by our director there. <laughs> yeah. Just like in the movies. 7.32 to go, third quarter. Cyrus Baggio looking around to find Paolo Bugia. Topex Robinson is open. Off the glass, this is a shot. Pickles comes out with the rebound. There is a reason why Topex continues to be open. Yeah. He's not really guarding him. They're giving him the shot. Roger Yap. Cyrus Bagra. I guess he plays there by Cyrus Bagra. Threading with a foul. And I uh, didn't uh, James Yap. I'm sure Coach Yangar recognizes that. Pure Foods, they're not really playing Topex honest. A little bit later, you will see Salino Cruz back in this basketball game. Roger Yap. From a cut set off, ran into Paolo Bugia. Here's Kirby, to the human, a better foul with Adam Agin. A lot of fouls being called against oh, Red Bull in this quarter. Paolo Bugia with his first personal foul. That's Paolo Bugia's foul. And that's what I don't know, the Sa'ating coverage from ABC5 and PBA Finals. Well, I was on the side, so I now. I don't know, I'm going to say, 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 Mr. Barbie at the end, sir. Salamat sa balita. Letran won over Mapua tonight by three to the NCAA. Ayan ang Letran Lisa, third grade mundo. Sabi nga, playing out of Letran College. And it's one of two. The Fed Pierp was on top by nine at 54-45. Well, Pierp was definitely taking advantage of the foul line here in this third quarter. Lordy Tugada with a snap shot! 
the address when I said Peter Lagash, the TM, power to the people. And that's always the best way to get it back at any basketball oh, game. Yeah. Hit those three-point shots. And learning to grab it just like James Yap, you know. But he lets go. <laughs> you think, you know, that's a bad shot. I think Malayo, huh? Better for a pass on there, do nothing. And Kirby Lee Muller will now have a layup. Paula McGee is going to have to toughen up a little bit on defense now. Again, Kirby scoring inside. Lordy Tugada, that was a Roger Yap. Tugada fires again. Air ball. The Topix Robinson keeps it alive and bounces it off Mike Pingley. All Mark Pinkers could do is just smile and clap his hands. Yeah, a good play there by Topex Robinson. We're going to have Juju Venezuela coming back in and Leon Ahorga seeing action for the first time this evening. That is a red ball at the Pinelli Pendla. She carries Baglia to Paolo Bugia. And the Horde is in there to try to do something with Kirby Ramundo, who is having his way here in this quarter. That's correct. That is a Topex Robinson. Again, Mark Pinkers gives him some space to work with. Nick Panisi. The big, ah, and the 24 second shot top goes off on Red Bull. Exacto for the Hathi for the third quarter. Six minutes to go in this period. Lamang and Pierre Foods now well at 56 to 48. Dave Jopp, Roger. Kirby. Well, you can see that as soon as Red Bull went on defense, they were confused about the matchup. They paid the price for it. Out of the play in the hard rabbit against the Juju Valenzuela. Down low to Nick Finisi. Finisi turns around, fires, and misses. Maybe they will try to keep it alive, and it hits. Ah, no. It goes out of bounds in favor of Pirfu. Roger Yap. Game job. Out to Roger. Roger inside. Fancy pass. Now to this is Topics Robinson. Come out of the way. Now how about the James Yap? And Topics Robinson picks it up as soon as he felt the foul from James Yap. Second personal on James, James Yap. His second. Fifteen foul for the Jimmy Giants. And we're going to have Topex Robinson at the line. Topex Robinson, a 53% free throw shooter. He actually was shooting 78% in the series. But he misses the first. Uh, several free throws uh, missed by uh, Red Bull here in the third quarter. Makes one of two. And the lead is nine. Palace Appeal Foods with five minutes remaining in the third. Roger Yap. She is going to go for Robinson. Looking at Kirby and Mundo. I go find a path around the Juku Venezuela. And that's going to send Kirby back to the line. Out of three throws now being awarded. Appeal uh, Foods on the penalty. Which uh, Red Bull went into, I think, with about eight minutes left. The bottom of the box is a penalty from uh, Red Bull. And then how to put out the bag of Happy Gunner. Appeal Foods can finish the championship tonight. They've been out of the Fusina. Well, Red Bull wants to extend it to Game 7 on Sunday. Well, the two MVP candidates, James Yap and Kirby Raimundo, have actually taken over this basketball game here in the third quarter. That's right, and uh, Kirby playing with uh, fire in his belly during the third quarter. Very funny share just came in for Kotex Robinson, so no two point guard on the floor for Red Bull. I'm not going to have to get a point guard, and Red Bull to Larry Punisher. Punisher is signaling the play, he's going to have to get a change up. Big finish it. Part of us is Lordy to Rade, side close to Larry Punisher, high pass inside to Lordy. I thought he's going to have to get a lot to the up. Every time we're going to have a comment from Big Finish, he's about to get a Red Bull. Four minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Yes, Maraya na pag-iis sa inyo sa mga tugang. Duman sa Bicol, kumustaan mayon. Sana po ay ayos kayo lahat dyan sa Bicolandia. Larry is open. Missed him. 
Duke of Minnesota going out high, but Josh Hitless controls the ball. Roger Yap. Here's Jim Dupont. To the basket, Roger. Roger Yap takes it inside, takes it hard. Palagas, Rodney Tugane, off to Larry Finasher. The guy back to James Yap. Rico brings it over down the middle. Well, one fast break that time by Red Bull as Rico did a good job of filling the lanes. What Red Bull needs right now is a little bit of defense. They have to get some stops. That's right. And down by nine points at 60-51. Three minutes and 48 seconds remaining in the third. Jim Lippert looking at Mark Pingwood. Up against uh, Villanueva. Jumper by Jim Lippert is no good. And that's going to be a loose ball foul. Called on Pingwood as he got uh, Leon Honda out of the picture. Well, Mark Pingwood will have to be a little bit careful there as he rushed the officials. Uh, he's lurking with a technical foul there. That's correct. Dad. Ah, he's saying that uh, somebody held on to his uh, shorts. Yeah. Probably referring to Nahorda. Instead, yeah. Nahorda is going to get to the line. So That's right. I think Pingers would be the guilty one in this play. Well, Leia Nahorda did not see action in the uh, first half. He was there just a few moments ago by Coach uh, Yen Yao. First by Nahorda. Rounds out. Jim Dupont, Roger Yap. Here's Kirby Renundo. And out to Jim Dupont at the corner. Jet shot is no good. And Mark Pingers going for that rebound. At the foul of Atawagin. The only reason the Horde is in the game is to box out Mark Pingers, but I guess it's a lot easier said than done. And Pingers will get back to the line once again. He already has 12 rebounds in this game. Hey, the Horde that picks up his first personal foul. And the last is a jumping jack. Third quarter free throws. The red bull not too far off. Two out of six. Chunky Giants, six out of seven. Just that uh, Pierre Fus has been making their free throws. Yeah. As we saw, the red bull making uh, some very important free throws. As uh, five pingers scores. On the uh, free throw, part of a French father and a native of Pasarubio, Pancasinan. Santos Alabi Junior is a Pancasinan. And from the Far Eastern University, Mike Pingris, the most improved player for 2006. That's right, he came into the league with long hair, but yeah, <laughs> decided to cut it. <laughs> Ten point lead now by Pierce, Jordi Tugade. They cover him. Tugade takes it inside. Balakas. And Luka Villanueva had a piece of that ball, but it got out of bounds in favor of Red Bull. But give credit to Mark Pingles once oh, again, yeah. coming over with the help defense. <laughs> this kid is a live wire. That's, That's a very statement. Yes. Yeah. Strong legs. Jim Lepard is relieved by Richard Yee of the kind of pure foods. Whoa! Tight pass inside, broken up. Now it is Mark Pingles into the front court. And that's a little bit of a And the Honda gives it the foul. Mark Pingles showing some ball handling. Yeah, yeah. nice <laughs> crossover hesitation move. And the other hand, the ball is here, but let's have a roll. Mark Pingles at the line. Nine points for Mike Pingles tonight. Go along with 12 rebounds. Make that 13 rebounds and four blocked shots. <laughs> well, the guy comes into this game averaging a double-double. Well, just a regular night for him. Yeah. Now it's regular. But I'm going to you Peyton, and uh, you know Mike Pingles uh, is going to contribute more. Arthur Masajuti Balanjara. Leona Horda. But he's going to get Juti. Juti takes it inside against Mark Pingles. I think that was the idea. To, uh, That's a big that play foul. there. As Mr. Energy just picked up his fifth foul. Oh, oh, yeah. That's a big play. That is a big personal for Give it to Juti. T. You did not shy away from the aggressiveness. He took it right to Mark Pingles. You can never describe Juki's brand of uh, play as a shot. <laughs> you can call him anything you want. 
but he's not shy on the hard court anyway. He's having a problem with the foul line in this game. And there's our series barometer. We were talking about the field goal percentage that has uh, been the gauge of uh, whoever's going to win in a game of the series. And here, even the free throws are not falling. That is a Red Bull. And that is a bit of a third quarter. Nick oh, Pinney saves! Oh, Comes over the field, throws for us at the end of the end. Power to the people. That came off of an offensive rebound by Larry Punisher. And Nick Pinney with a total of 10 points in the game. James Yop! And Pinney taps it to Enrico Villanueva. Out to Juju Valenzuela. What happening? Uh, regular point guard is a red dirt. Penisi fires again. Oh, oh ball that time. And there's going to be a, an illegal pick. Hey, Juju Valenzuela. How many free throws have uh, there? Come on. The offensive foul unit. Okay. Here's Roger Yap. Here's Jim Dupont. Uh, collision inside the paint. And Larry Penichera will pick up a foul. Right there, three throws. That's number four on Larry Penichera. So, Delamang Tira Parake Roger Yap with two minutes, one second remaining in the third quarter. And a nine point lead for the Pure Foods Chunky Giants. Here in game six. Like we said, Pure Foods wants to end this here and now. Red Bull says, let's play again on Sunday. You're right, Red Bull just wants to fight another day. Oh, yeah. The foul line has been very, very kind to Pure Foods in this quarter. But not that time as Roger Yap made one of two. Juti Venezuela. High pass inside, broken up, but it's picked up by Juti himself. Venezuela. Takes it inside. Oh, yeah. What a layup by Juti Venezuela with a foul. Don Camazo unable to stop. It's Richard Yee. Yeah, Richard Yee picked up the foul. Juti once again, fearless, going to the basket. Gets clipped on the arm. I don't think they're not there, but by Juti Venezuela and Tira. Lavin in the left in case, a free throw line, and another one. But they keep it alive. Juta gets it over to Rico Villanueva. There's a tap from behind by Richard Dean, and it's picked up by James Yap. Here's Roger Yap. Into the front court. Field with the body for the share. Don Camacho. Roger. The Jim Dupont. Five pass lob up to Nick Panisi. Dupont with a spin. He goes up his block by Nick Panisi, but he keeps it alive. Three seconds on the shot clock, Roger Yap. Richard Yee blocked. And an offensive foul is going to be called. Richard Yee picks up foul number three. A minute and 17 to go in the third quarter. La Bancarena Wallo on Pure Group 65 57. Red Bulls just hanging around. Oh, yeah. That's what they did in game six. Larry Pinochet gets it over to GD. But as well inside, this pass intended for Nick Pinesi goes out of bounds. Yes, GD might have been better off just shooting that basketball. Well, GD has always been known as a gutsy player who will take it strong against anyone, but that time sort of popped out. It's a minute and a half, and then that'll be the third quarter. La Bancarenda, I'm here for jump below 65 57. Richard Yee finds James Yap. The Kogan and Miller at the pick. He loaded to run it. Here comes Lady leading the attack. In a bit for Jutri Valenzuela off the baseline. Again, Red Bull getting out on the fast break, getting some fast break points. And as you said, they've been hanging around and they've cut the lead down to only six at 65 to yeah, offensive oh, foul. Oh, baby, they win as he tried to break free, but Juki is going to draw attention. Oh, being a good basketball player is probably acting also. <laughs> oh, yeah. Larry Fenechera gets it over to Juki once again. 
Venezuela inside to Lordi. Lordi unexpected, did not expect that pass. And it's taken by Don Camacho, who runs it up. Nobody guarding Noy Castillo. And this is the shot, but it's an offensive rebound here by Clinton and Rudy. Seven seconds remaining in the third quarter. Jump shot. And sort of going by quarters there as the third quarter was pretty close after one team has either dominated the first or the second. That's why this game has tightened up here. Only a three-point lead by Pierre Food. What a move! That's good! And with her 22 in the game. Look at that as well, but I'm not using the red punto. Lordy to Gado. Moving around, Branch Gado to Venezuela. Venezuela, he walks up to Lope. Way up by Venezuela, he did it to us. And a better foul. And it's got to go on against Noy Castillo. Good drive there by Larry Ponacero using the traffic to find a path to the basket. As Red Bull continues to attack the rim. And uh, let's see if they can do better than the free throw line now. The Madonna Larry is going to share, makes great free throws, and cuts the lead up here, which down to three. Got to the longer. Well, they say that average, uh, percentages average out, and Red Bull shot 56% in that third quarter compared to only 41% for Pierre Cruz. That's a huge on down there with a quick and favorable football, getting away once again. Well, that I'm ready to go, eh? Finds a small opening, gets it over to Nick Tunisi. Let it go, Nick Tunisi, to the field goal. Yes! Here, Chris, plus a minute against the team. Power to the people. And the three-point shot by working for Red Bull. They take the lead, and Bill wins down to two. Here's Roger Yap. Get the basket, Nick Tunisi, the three-point shot! Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Roger Yap is going to get out of the studio. The studio drives through. And Don Cabasso is fouled. A good foul there by GT, not giving up an easy shot to Don Cabasso, sitting him to the line. But GT Venezuela picks up his fifth personal foul. And this has been a really vital part here, but as a red bull on both sides of the court. Well, 19 points in the game for Jim T. He's probably going to be rested as Tyrus Baggio is at the scorer's table. And also hits his first foul shot. So the new is the coach Ian Giao, but a Jim T. Venezuela, who already has five personals. And the two players who really exploded last game for Red Bull, Larry Pomacher and Enrico, have only combined for 10 points in this basketball game. Well, they did the most damage in the fourth quarter in game number five. Let's see if they can do it with three shots. Out of the way, it's to Nick Penisi had to stretch out and hard for that. Penisi had to silence Baggio. Baggio had his problems. Seven point lead by Pierre Fouz with nine minutes and 35 seconds remaining. Samadala is in the cruise. The Maso Parake Lordi to Gade. The panic among Red Bull. Nine and a half minutes to go. Roy Castillo. She doesn't run the Larry Ferrer. Third day in Mundo. Don Tomaso. Gotta go look at Kobe. Kobe inside. Can we hit? Well, I've got a better foul. And this one is on the Lyra's Baggio. The matchup of putting smaller players on Kirby has worked somewhat in this series. He's averaging 13 points per game. Like uh, Coach Chuck mentioned at the beginning, he's shooting under 40 percent from the floor, but it's not working tonight, Ed. Uh, it's not. Kirby's getting a little bit further here. He's done a lot of damage.
damage against Redwood, especially here in the second half. Twenty four points for David Ingram. Second try. And the lead up here moves back up to eight. But in the corner, the banner is the Lawak. Down the red ball. But away, we're in the mark. Larry's going to show. He's going to get a week of the other. He's going to get a good thing to do. He's going to get a good thing to do. He's going to get a good thing to do. He's going to get a good thing to do. He's going to get a good thing Mike Castillo, Doug Cabasso, there's a tail ring. So the best guy came to the middle of the big Cyrus Baggio. Take the ring with the ball. I guess Cyrus Baggio. Just quit. The best. And the top goes to Roger Young. And the Blueberries players are whooping it up. This is another game where the rebounding has been dominated by the Pure Foods team. That's right. They win there. Last one to John Tomaso. Tomaso with a jump shot. No. Cyrus Baggio with boxing out. Selena Cruz. To Nick Benici. Benici gives a pass to Selena. Cruz. Gets open to the jump shot. Yes! A guy who's uh, not shy about taking the shot. Big shot there by Salino Cruz because Pierre Cruz was threatening to pull away in this game here at the end game. Well, he delivered one uh, at the end game in uh, last Wednesday. That tied the count. That's 90 all. Don Camacho is the best of us, Castillo. Roger Yax. Moving into Salino Cruz. Get by Roger Yax. A beauty to Mama. And it goes out of bounds in favor of Greg Gould. 7 26 to go. Waiting time to go for the goal. 7 minutes and 20 seconds to go. And in love, Akala Mama, the Pilgrims are right there. Let's have a little more to say this Baggio. The game game is to be about Nick Benin to get the outside. Short, not there with the side of Baggio. Good of us, the Lordy to God. No. Loose ball, Red Bull Parade. Lordy. To God is a boxer for the game. The side of Baggio to the rest of Nick Benin. Set shot by Nick Benin. I have run. And on the loose ball play, a foul is going to be called. And Lordy to God. They're going to say that Lordy Tagade went over the back to get that rebound. But how many attempts did uh, Redbird take there that did not go in? That could have been a, a big one if they had scored there. Six minutes and 48 to go. Six one lead by Pierre Cruz. Good luck. Woo! Off the glass. Yes! Good luck. Come on, Salah. That's a good one. That's a good one. She's out of spot here. And he's clipped in the middle by Roger Yap. Roger Yap is not going to give up that layup. Oh, yeah. No way. And of course, the high flying Cyrus uh, Baggio got a score on transition. We'll try and uh, get the two points from the line. Earlier, he mucked the shot. Roger Yap, James Yap, all of them are the mythical five. And I'm sure Coach Chet Reyes is just waiting to get some of these players into the national team. Oh, yeah, there's a, a tournament August uh, 1 to 6. The car open. And uh, Coach Chad wanted the mythical five to play for the national team, but unfortunately, a couple of players unable or unavailable for that. And I could have committed to the team. That's good news. All right, two shots by Cyrus Baggio. Goes from Juan to the This pass. Get it up. Let's go easy. Can I get this in the field? Selena goes into the front foot. Rob passed it. Oh, that's a hard foul there. Richard Yee. That's a hard foul by Richard yeah. Yee. It's one thing to go for the ball, but you cannot go for the guy's head. <laughs> yeah, that's going to mean two shots plus ball yeah, possession. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Enrico's way ahead of the pack here. That's his first first. That's the layup. Uh, 
Kaya lang kung tis ng uh, na free throw ng Red Bull. Marami-rami na ito eh. Dito sa second half. And in that third quarter, they went two out of nine. And if the tennis has gone way down, Jimmy will have a very bad one. And the lead of Purefoods is five. The shot too well in the first half, 11 out of 13. But in the third quarter, they went two out of nine. Right. We're trying to find out exactly how many people were missing the entire second half. So we're going to run to the top of the middle mark fingers. So finding the field group six minutes and 13 seconds to go. Down to a five-point lead by field group. Not a regular ball. Due to Venezuela's back in the game, but there is a timeout. And then he's on the ground. He's on the ground. And 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 he's on the ground. Samar is going to be the right now. Southern Lakers, yeah. Lodi Tugadi has it. Tugadi is the left side. Ooh, blocked by Kirby. Kirby, he put him in the shot block. Our fingers have to let it. Try to catch Kirby in the middle. He did the line against the leader Cruz. Mark that field against the line against James Yap. I guess Lodi Tugadi. James Yap. Moving now. Better best from Kirby. Kirby against the leader. Right side, right side. Very casino step back. Kirby. No ball. But he had to throw that shot up as yeah. the clock is running down on him. Oh, good defense by Red Bull as they really moved their feet to stay in front of their men. Yes. Shot that up there, trying to get there, pacing up and down. The Macarena Pure Foods comes to that. 77 72. That's a red bull and bola. Juju Venezuela. Just like Toby and Moon, Juju inside. Juju is going to be like, yeah, he's got the challenge. Yes. Great defense there by Kobe Raymond. That's two defensive stops in a row for Pierre Bruce. He gets closer to the end game. There are five minutes and 30 seconds left. Yeah, that's a backy violation yes. as Lippert had not established position in the front court. The Brigade is already going to see you while Junior Butler is still in the back court. So a turnover here by Pierre Bruce with. 5.26 to go. So, we're going to have our hope flip. But, we're going to have to have instant prizes. And, we're going to have to have the style of boys. And, then, you play your prizes any time for that game. And, we're going to have to have the base of the game. And, we're going to have to have the prizes. And, we're going to have to have the hope flip. And, we're going to have to have the layup. No basket. Oh, that's a foul. What a foul put on Jupiter. That's going to be number six. And, this young guy appealing to the referee. Let's see if we can take a look at it again. A good okay. quick move here by June T. He attacks the defense. Well, like as we said, as Rick did both ends of the court. Obviously, the call was that he threw out his left arm yeah. against Mark Pingles. I'm sure Coach Jane Gal saying that was not much of a throw, but it's the referee's call, and it stands. A big loss here, that is a red goal with 5.17 to go. And the Pierre Foods lead at five points. It's going to bring Larry Panacea back into the basketball game. GT has been by far the best player on the floor for Red Bull in this game. This game has put everyone here at the college room at the edge of their seats. And I'm sure it's no different from where you are. And it's going to be James Swift, who looks up for Ed. And he's fouled about the one, didn't he? It's going to be on Selena Cruz, I believe. Yes, it's on Selena Cruz. It's on Selena Cruz. An Abbott-Bethine foul on Red Bull. With 5.08 to go. Great job. And it's the Wilson. It's Wilson. It's Wilson. It's Wilson. It's Wilson. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
on the out. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Ronaldo, Dan ik geloof je Serena Cruz. Leuke te gaan en Lex te kwijt! Wow! Via Chris was een middelige stadion. How are you the people of the money to go? He was really under pressure on that shot. And that would look like a bad shot. With no chance of going in. Uh, and being good. good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Three minutes and 49 seconds remaining in the game. Three point lead. That is a few groups. Well, I will that. Ada sebuah peluru bangkar. Jun di bawah sedia aja. Berangkat. Peluru itu dari Luis Mangga. Dari Luis Mangga. Tahun itu sudah di kau Mangga. Jadi the fifteen foul on Red Bull is going to go to Enrico. Second personal. Enrico bukan lagi. Seems to be nothing that Red Bull can do with Kirby in this game. He has uh, sent out a message that he is here to lead the Kentucky Giants for the win. Uh, 25 points, 14 rebounds so far. He put the third bullet in the against the Rizzo Villanova. Third bullet. Sets up Nate like Castillo! Yeah. You see what happens when JT, JT goes out of the game. You yes. see a lot of help people for Enrico. I was a good press, but I was a good press. The Tia power to the people. Three minutes and 19 seconds to go. It is a seven-point lead. Back here, too. That's a regular ball. I don't think you got it. Oh, he tried to pass it off to Nick Lewis. He wasn't looking. Here comes Mary Castillo. Turned over by Red Bull. That was coming out of a timeout. Correct. Well, that is game number five. I mean, every time they came off a timeout, they came off a spectacular basket. At time, Red uh, Bull was hoping they could score. Take it into the right about. And Rico will have a rebound off to Selena Cruz. Selena Cruz goes up. And I got to stop the side cross court to get Kinesi. Kinesi, we go back to the jumper. Well, up. Kinesi tries to get his back. He falls, and there's going to be a loose ball foul on Kirby. Number four on Kevin Ramundo is going to be a side throw for Red Brown. Okay, but he does have them. See what's happening on the door. So Tiger Woods shot a 65 in the second round of the British Open. He's the leader at 12 under. Tiger Woods. So both teams now in the penalty in this game. The last two minutes and 40 seconds. We did that. 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 But it goes back to Lloyd, here's Enrico Villanueva. Oh, he lets it go. Oh, just a reminder again, both teams are in the penalty. Since the fourth has it, they're down, the brothers are up by five at 82-77, two minutes and 16 to go. Well, Castillo is losing to the Salina Cruz. Castillo for them, but he gets James Young. I guess Lloyd is to grab it. James Young, step back, jump there by James Young. Oh, how does he do that? Big game, James. And there's a steal! 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 And Mark Pinnis! And the winner! And that's how it's going to be. And then again, 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 we can use James Yap. Tomorrow, we're going to have to go to the end. We're going to have to go to the end. So, we're going to have to go to the end. And that's why we're going to have to go to the end. And that's why we're going to have to go to the end. And that's why we're going to have to go to the end. And that's why we're going to have to go. Ready to go for three. No. Enrico Villanueva hit in. And Tira hit in the basket. Now Pickles has to be by the first three points. One minute and 43 seconds to go. Look at the pico. A beautiful Chucky Giants. Looking for a championship here. Atal Sisi Dawan. 
Arma na base, aqui o Zizinho se levanta na meta, agora Jesus James Jobs, Flá! Vai bem pro início, Lorne Tulane quer chutar, a outra seria no Cruz. O Lorne Tulane põe o centro do trio, Bonito! Júnior Pertrapso, Tavoli James Jobs, Pop! Pop de Ra, é by Larry Pereira. And Larry Pereira is going to pick up the foul here. That's going to send Pio Cruz to the line for two shots. That's correct, ele vai dar essa pênalti aí. And then we'll go with one minute and 20 seconds to go. Rivers is in the lead at seven points. Sunky Giants, they can smell it. Oh, yeah. The crowd is about ready to erupt. Have a day. A good shot. He's out the line. It's only fair that the best player on the best team this year should be a judge the MVP. Of course, Red Bull also had a great year. They did win the other conference with Fiesta. We went back. Yeah, yeah, let's go. One minute and 20 seconds to go. A nine-point lead. Yeah, yeah. The Pedro Fernandez, Chaka Pintos. Well, definitely Red Bull has to score on this play. Oh, yeah. Selena Cruz will inbound. The body of the United States on the chair. Now you can manage to get it. The guys have to go quick, too. And they get it. Team to go. Pio Cruz in the lead by seven. Vai castigo mga labas ng bola para sa Chunky Giant. Pag nalaro ang Pio Cruz dito, sila na ang champion. Ang ating Philippine Cup for 2006, James Yap. Dalawa sila ng Castillo. Enrique Villanueva on top of them. Castillo. Pass again to James Yap and the foul is given up by Lordi Tugade to stop the clock at a minute and ten. That's number five on Lordi. Here's a shot to him from the charity line for James Yap. And James Yap came into this game shooting 70% from the foul line. That's for this series. Pretty respectable. Last time out, he did things both. And again, a chance of MVP. This is Gavin. So eight seconds was able to go off that clock before Red Bull committed that foul. So there's still one minute and ten seconds left in the game. One more shot. Got to play James Young. I expect the Red Bull will not call a timeout this time. They'll just try to run it up the court. James Yap makes a, a bad run. Nope. Coach Yap. Come on, come on, Pierre Cruz. 87 79. One minute and 10 seconds to go. Roger Yap is back in the game for Nike Castillo. The leader throws the game back down to Larry Punisher. Inside to Lady Tagada. Ooh. That could have been a three point play. That would have been big if he had made that shot. Holy cow, you see the frustration and disappointment on Lordy Tugade. James Yap is gone to the fourth, to his fourth professional foul. Lordy Tugade slowly goes to the free throw line where they have failed several times here in the second half. It's could have been a lot closer. Three throws virus. Eating into the Red Bull machine. Body to Gatti has not scored in the free throw. Oh, he did it all. Zero two. And James Yap snatches the rebound. That is a pair of boots. James Yap. Which of you has the favorite of the ball? And they did that, it was fouled by Enrico Villanueva to stop the clock at 55 seconds. Third personal on Enrico. You see the... Uh, the better? Yes. And again, uh, we noticed the... Uh, the letters on the shirt. 
points of the Blizzards of the Reeds ET. That, of course, uh, is for Yuji Kahada, the fallen teammate. And it also means uh, that the Witcher Bill Rosario ends tonight. And the Kirby, that's close. Uh, 27 points in the game for Kirby Ramundo. Coming up big, big here. Big nice for Kirby. That is going to say, that's another one for the field. Serena Cruz trying to shoot through. Enrico Villanueva, back to Serena Cruz. Serena Cruz gets it over to Lori Pugato. Three points out by Lori from the Nick Panisi underneath. Scores in the reverse left. 39 seconds to go. That is an eight-point lead by Pure Cruz. 39 seconds to go after 14 years. New Liverpool with a chance to win a championship here. Uh, this is going to be ultra sweet. By the way, June Lippon, he has waited so long. How about Coach Ryan? It's been four years since he won his first championship. 2002, yes. That's right, the Pure Cruise management has had a lot of confidence in him. He's done a great job this year. He's got three teams that never won a championship. The best player never to have won a championship. Top of the line. June Lippon. Uh, at the line, this is that one. He was actually known for his big deal. Yeah. Big deal financially when he signed, but... It's that first foul shot, but he has a chance now to further this lead for his team. You have to feel happy when you get that foot. And I'll tell you, because I think he ends tonight, and it looks that way as he put this one of two. Tyrus Bagno, the pitcher Lordy Tugade. Tugade trying to weave inside, and comes over the layup with 22 seconds to go. And it's a second point lead here by Pure Foods. James Rupp. And then coming out with the Gunfitty. The Gunfitty has come down here. The game's not over yet. Yeah, yeah, 12 seconds to go. And James Rupp is hanging out to the leather. And the Redwood players are not uh, going after it. Pure Foods wins the 2006 Philippine Cup by seven points over Red Bull at 90-83. Big win here by the Pimpins, Chucky Giants, Coach Norman. Well, congratulations to Coach Ryan Gregorio. Jim Laporte is getting a victory ride. That's correct, he should get one. As we said, it's got a taste of the sweet here. But I mean, Jim Laporte, he helps Coach Ryan Gregorio. What a great year for the Chelsea Giants, losing the first conference to Red Bull, getting back at Red Bull in this particular conference.